Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. In this video, I'm going to show you several ways you can actually increase the amount of items you have without actually increasing the amount of items that you have. <laughs> so, Now, this may or may not make sense but to you right off the bat, but I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by that. And it's a great way to drive sales, especially if you are limited with your initial um, offering of products. So meaning that if you only have a couple, you have a few, or maybe you have three or four, I will give you some ways you can actually fill a store out and drive more sales uh, because what you're going to give your customers is kind of a visual of having a variety of things to choose from as opposed to maybe just one singular item in, let's say, five or six different flavors. This is going to be a great tip to, to kind of fill your store with a lot of variety, even though you don't have a ton of products right off the bat. So really quick, who is this and why am I using this as an example? Um, this is a, one of my clients. This is um, a young lady that I, I've done some consulting work with um, and has this product. It is a chocolate truffles uh, that she's got in this box here. But I'm going to explain to you what she's done, the process she's done to get to this because it's, it's really quite impressive. And definitely if you guys are looking for some motivation and some inspiration on how to, to create your food product, this video I'm going to go into, I'm going to show you what she's done, and then I'm going to give you some great tips. So um, right off the bat, let's look at some of her photos. Number one, the photos are fantastic, and she's utilized all of the photos that are available, which I recommend, by the way, um, if you are on Etsy, eBay, uh, Amazon, whatever platform with however many photos that they have available, definitely use all of them, okay? So if you look on here, you see this, this, this lid right here, by the way, really quick notation. This is fantastic. This is very professionally done, very well done. Uh, it's got the shape and it's got the description and everything included as to what is um, in each box. It is a four pack, as you can see, right? Um, but she's gone so far as to also include a um, nutritional label. She's got the nutritional analysis done. Um, and great images of the ingredients, okay? And leading up to the final product that she has right here, um, all of the ingredients, this is a great, actually a great way to lead into the final product when you're showing the ingredients that you're using. And then you've got the final product. So even to actually tell you the truth, the way that she has the uh, images lined up is even fantastic, okay? And then right at the end, you got your nutritional analysis. So here's, what, here's the video, here's the reason why I'm doing this video. So she has this product on Etsy and she offers it in a coconut, hazelnut, caramel, um, and then like an assorted flavors box, okay? And I do apologize. I may uh, – I'm not sure what A, B, and J, and, and I do apologize if I don't remember what the flavor was for that one. But the, the point of this is to, to show you the variety that she's got. So she's got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So she has five flavors of this type of product. Now, she only has one particular listing though that utilizes the drop down menu selection feature. Okay, this is a feature where you can drop down a menu and you can have a lot of different uh, varieties of flavors, colors, sizes, and that's great. But what's even better is this. Each of these flavors need to have an individual listing. When you're starting out and if you've got just one item in your, in your store, create especially on etsy guys really quick note etsy is like so inexpensive to do business on it's it's so cheap compared to so many other platforms um each of these flavors need to have a listing unto themselves okay and when you do that what you're creating is is a is a, a shop that's got a multitude of things to choose from instead of just one listing um and from there you're actually creating uh, way more selection and variety for your customers. Let me go over to her shop and I'll show you. So here's her shop, okay? And she's actually, that's great. She's actually already had some sales. She just opened up her shop. She's already got 24 sales and some great feedback. So that's that's fantastic, okay? And she's also using the info uh, section where you can offer a variety of, of discounts, coupons, and stuff like that. But then when you scroll down here, so she's got the one single item. This looks okay. And of course, this is the beginning. But what I would, I would as a customer want to see is this thing filled with a lot of products. Now, you don't have to go crazy and overdo it. But just imagine right here, she's got five items. So she can have at least uh, keep this listing with the multiple drop down. She's already done that. So keep it. You don't have to get rid of it. But here, here, and all down through here, she needs to have the rest of those flavors created individually. Then this is where it gets good. And this is where you can actually make even more money. So 
she has a, a lot of, of flavors to choose from. So you need to create um, a three pack combo pack. So what I mean by that is offer, she sells it for around 12, let's say $12, right? That's her regular price, $12 each. If she had a three pack, caramel, hazelnut, coconut, you had three boxes together, then you can increase that up to about $36, $35 for one individual transaction, as opposed to trying to get people to buy, you know, the three of them together or multiple boxes for $11.95 each, take a little bit of a discount off, sell three boxes, okay? And don't just stop there. And here's what I mean. So you've got coconut, you got hazelnut, coconut and hazelnut. So you can put these three together, right? So then you can put hazelnut, caramel, A, B, and J, okay? So these three could go together. And then you can mix and match, just kind of go crazy with it with caramel, ABJ, and coconut, and try to find as many combinations as possible. And you need to throw in some subscription boxes. She's got uh, five different flavors. That's at least five months of subscription boxes. And you can sell that as a listing. And you put on there, chocolate truffle subscription, uh, chocolate truffle of the month club. And it's a subscription box where each month they're going to get one of these, or they can send it as a gift to somebody, right? Coconut, you get one each each month, but you're going to be charging for uh, five months in advance, all right? Or even do a three-month program. Hey, you want to just try a sample box? Here's three months. So each month you get three different flavors, but you're going to increase your individual sale price. So for five of them, if there was 12, let's say $12 on average each, right? That's going to be around $60. So for $59.99, you can get a five-month subscription to our Gourmet Truffle of the Month Club. That right there is another listing. You see what I'm saying? So you don't have to have a lot of products to create a full store. But I mean, with one or two, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. But if you've got like, this is great, five or six or even more, then you're, 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 you're golden. You can create almost a whole store filled with stuff. Just mix and match it. Give customers a variety. And also, by the way, you can even do this. Someone may be a, love, may be a diehard coconut fan. So do three-pack combo of these individual flavors, three boxes of coconut. Okay. And again, there it is. It's 36. You're looking at the retail price around $36 for that one transaction. Someone may be a crazy fanatic for hazelnuts. Three boxes, get a discount promo code. Uh, three boxes is $29.99. Okay. So the idea is to increase the per transaction amount. So that way you're making more money as opposed to hoping that people buy a multitude of boxes. You need to present them with the option of buying multitude of boxes. Now this concept can be used for anything. I'm just giving you the foundation of understanding how this works. It doesn't have to be chocolate, you know, truffles and such, but this was a great one. She was very kind enough to let us use her listing to kind of uh, critique and, and show uh, what we could do here. So, so really quick, that was, I just wanted to show you this idea, this concept, and you could fill up your store with that. And then, like I said, on Etsy, it's, it's fantastic because it's like 20 cents a listing. That's nothing. That's a, that's very, very, very expensive. So mix and match it up and give the customer a variety of things to choose from. And you don't have to create a hundred different truffles. Five is perfect. Five is great. Just mix and match them. And then that way you're going to make more money. So with that being said, I'll wrap it up really quick. I wanted to do a really quick video and I hope uh, uh, she enjoys this, this concept and she can, it can help her grow too. So take care. And as always, if you guys appreciate the videos, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about this idea or concept, let me know down below and I will get to it as soon as I can.